Hi everyone! So I have my September Scentsy Club haul to share. It came in a really big box. Um, it came UPS this time, which is great because UPS always delivers to our apartment mailroom and FedEx delivers to like the other building. So we always have to walk over and grab it. So it was nice. It was UPS. Um, I haven't actually opened anything, but I did take out like all the paper so it wouldn't be so crinkly. Um, we have our whiff box, which I haven't opened yet. I think I watched a few spoilers earlier on, but I can't really remember what's in it. But clearly I did end up going with the whiff box as opposed to getting a brick. I think depending on how I feel about this whiff box, I might switch to a brick for my half price item for my September, October, November club. But I'm just undecided because I feel like I get like FOMO. Like what if there's something really exciting in the whiff box and I want it? So I don't know undecided if we're gonna keep with box or if we're gonna go brick but we shall see next time i have to do my club edit then these are all the bars they packaged it in a separate box so we'll go through that but really quick so in this order at the bottom it says on behalf of your consultant enjoy this free fairy tale pumpkin scentsy bar thanks for being a scentsy club subscriber so I got this note in my order. So we have a free fairy tale pumpkin bar, which I've never smelled before. And then this was also in my box. It didn't say it was free, but I'm assuming it was because I don't, I don't get the cotton cleanups in my club. But I'm super excited to give them a try because I've heard that they're really great. Like you can use one of these to clean up like three or four warmers. I just... I'm fine buying cotton balls at Target or Walmart, so I haven't actually purchased these. So I'm excited to try them. Cotton cleanups. So I guess that was free as well. Let's do the whiff box first. Um, so like I said, haven't actually opened it yet. It looks kind of stuffed. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. I feel like my little pamphlet got a little bent up in the corner. Um, so the reason I kept this is because one of my comments said that in this October, no, it's not October, in this September with box, sometimes you get things from like the Harvest Collection or like, I don't know, fall items or something like that. So I just really wanted to give it a try. It looks like there's some night Nightmare Before Christmas theme going on and i don't know i don't know what this stuff is but it looks cute um halloween themed use this use these fun cones to pass out candy or popcorn oh, okay so you can make these little like cone cups so that's super cute um they're still doing the the bags in case you live in an area that's still super warm it's been like kind of warm in Minnesota, but then some days it feels like fall and then some days it feels like summer. There's a little ice. Oh wow, it smells like fall. Oh, you know what? I'm super excited. I added some of these Nightmare Before Christmas bars to my club in case I really liked them. So I'm excited I get to try two of them and then if I like it, I'll keep it in my club. If I don't, I'll remove it from my club that will process in November. So the first one is Jack's Obsession. Um, okay, I was gonna look up the notes. Maybe I'll just put the notes on the screen here. This is what my Jack's Obsession looks like. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like the graphics on the bar might differ. Like there might be a few different graphics you could get. So let's smell this. Oh, I like it. It's kind of like a spiced apple scent. That's pretty. I like this much better than baked apple pie. This is kind of what I was hoping baked apple pie would smell like. Ooh, it's really good. It's really good. I think it's a green apple with a little bit of spice in it. I like this a lot. Good for fall. Might even consider keeping it to get a second bar for my club that will process in November. Here's Roll of the Dice. I think this one might be a hit or miss fragrance. Like people love it or don't. I can't remember though. And then this one looks like it's in older packaging because you can see the 
clam on the bottom doesn't have the fun little like designs in it. So let's give this a sniff. Let me see. Ooh, this is from, I can see the pour date lightly. I don't know, it actually, it looks kind of backwards. 27, oh yeah, I think it's from 7, 2021, possibly. I don't know, it's very faint, but I think I like it. It smells a little bit masculine, like cologne. Ooh, you know what? I kind of like it. It reminds me slightly. Oh, it's a little bit juicy, this one. Like there's definitely some oils on this bar. It kind of reminds me very lightly. My hand is very oily now of like the Glacier Waters one a little bit. I don't know for sure. I, I did get Glacier Waters in this club, so maybe I'll compare it, but it smells a little like masculine is, is what I'm picking up. And then Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. I don't know if this is the next month's scent of the month or not. Doesn't really say if it is or not. I, I hate to open these because I don't always want to warm it right away, but let's just do it. Just a little bit at the corner. Ooh, I think I like that. It kind of smells like a bakery. Pumpkin, warm pumpkin drizzle. Maybe a little bit of like caramel drizzle or something. It smells really good. I would consider grabbing this or putting it in my next club. So two bars so far and the little sample. I have a Biddy Buddy, Biddy Buddy Bat. Yeah. In Caramel Apple Craze. So that's what that looks like. Honestly, I can lightly smell it lightly smell apple but um yeah honestly i don't really know what to do with these when i get them yeah it smells pretty good here's what it looks like is it supposed to have something bitty buddy i thought these were supposed to have like little clips to, to hang them from things i don't know it looks like it's a tiny little stuffed animal and it's kind of a nice foam material i like that this feels kind of nice um but yeah, let me know what do you guys do with these? Like I don't have kids or anything, so I, I can't really give it to like a kid. Uh, my youngest cousin is like a senior in high school, so I don't know, super cute, but sometimes I'm just not sure what to do with them. But I like the scent. I think I got this scent in my club, so we can give it a sniff in wax form. Um, Oh, a little Harvest Collection brochure. I'll look at that afterwards. And then two other things. We have Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin Scent Circle, 3D Scent Circle. Excited to try this. I've only ever had their regular scent circle. And then we have Scary Good, which... Is that the scent that came free? Oh, no. Uh, it was Fairy Tale Pumpkin. So this is Scary Good. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Smells like a nice pumpkin bakery scent to me. Um, yeah, I like it. I just sprayed it on my, my little box right there. As for room sprays, I don't love them only because when you spray it in your bathroom, which I'd assume most people's bathrooms have like hard floors um, or tile flooring and things like that. I feel like the spray falls to the ground and makes the ground super slippery. So I don't know, I don't love that. So I would prefer to spray it in a room that has like carpeted floors, like maybe more like a bedroom or like a closet area. Um, so that's what came in the with box, honestly. It was okay this month. I'm always excited about wax items, so I think that's great. And for the price I paid $15, that alone is worth the price of the wax right here. So I'm excited about it overall, but nothing too like outstanding, I feel like in this particular one. Um, okay. So as for my club, these were the two items that weren't wax related that I'm not necessarily gonna keep in my club going forward. I just really wanted to try the scent because I loved how it smelled in wax form. 
So this is Vanilla Waves Body Wash. And I also got Vanilla Waves Body Cream. So I'm really excited. I just figured I'd grab like this set and can use that. Vanilla Waves is sea salt and whipped vanilla crush into sticky caramel. Um, caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. That's what the description is. I thought it smelled really pretty. So let's go into my wax that I picked up. I'll breeze through the items that are repeats that I've purchased before that stay in my club. And then we'll go more in depth on the new items that I added specifically to this club that I haven't sniffed before. We got two ice packs. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. So should I do the new stuff first or quickly breeze through the stuff that always comes? Let's do, let's do the new stuff because I see some new stuff at the top here. So here's the one that came free in my club this time around, which is very fairy tale pumpkin and i did look this up online because i knew this one did i just bump the camera sorry about that i knew this one was coming i saw it in my club order purchase in my scentsy history and i'm like oh it looks like they added that so i wanted to look up the scent notes so it says an epic fantasy of harvest pumpkin midnight black raspberry and a whisper of black licorice Again, I feel like this one might be a hit or miss scent. Um, I'm a little nervous about the black licorice. Um, this one was from last year, exactly, 9 to 2021. It definitely is juicy. And I'm gonna try to show the date. I do this and I swear sometimes you can't even see it, but the date is like right here if you can see it. But yeah, it is very, very greasy and juicy. I don't dislike it as much as I was like a little nervous about. I don't smell a whole lot of pumpkin, but I do get like the raspberry, like the black raspberry and maybe a little of the black licorice, but it doesn't smell as licorice-like as I thought it was going to. Hmm. I'm interested to see how this does on warm. Um, then as for new scents, so the ones that I ended up cutting, if you guys watched my Scentsy edit video, I cut out from the new fall scents, or at least new to me fall scents. I cut apple and cinnamon sticks. I cut autumn hearth, autumn sunset, cider mill, farm stand pumpkin, pomegranate prosecco and cozy cardigan so i was going back and forth i had a list of like 15 new scents i cut about half of them and most all of them i cut were in the spice category i just assumed it was going to be too spicy and i wouldn't end up liking it i also found that i had gotten this on clearance and so i decided to open it and give it a sniff this is the autumn sunset travel tin um so i'm like oh this is one of them that i almost ended up getting it just smells really spicy to me it's not super sweet it's not bad i wouldn't have minded if i got it in my club but it's also not something that i'm super drawn to so that's the reason i ended up cutting out autumn sunset and then the rest of them just as i did another pass i just felt like they didn't excite me as much as some of the other scents i added in so Let's go on to the scents that did make my club that are new to me. This one is Caramel Apple Craze. I love that it's red wax and then the, the front of it is kind of that caramely color. So this says, creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples and whipped vanilla invite you to be a trick or treater again. So that's what this scent says. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. So this is the scent that the little buddy came in i really like it it's a really nice apple scent yeah i feel like it's a really good caramel apple scent actually it's a really good mixture and i like it sometimes caramel i feel like some i don't always feel like i'm gonna like but i think it's a really really good scent i could see keeping this in my club to get another one at least for the fall time we kept 
autumn road trip and autumn road trip says take a tour through crisp harvest apple just picked anju pear and a forest of towering silver oak i don't always love tree notes but this one was in the fruity category so i figured that the apple and the pear would be the stronger note and i think apple and pear pear good together so oh okay i actually feel like i smell the the silver oak stronger than i was picturing at least on the top I don't really pick up the pear. I get some apple, but I get definitely get some earthy, woody notes as well from the oak. So this surprised me a little bit more. I didn't expect so much of the silver oak, but I like it. It's not so much earthy, woody that I dislike it, but I'll definitely have to warm it to see if this is going to stay in my club for another round or if one bar is enough for me. Um, this one is Winterberry Apple Tea. And this says winter tea cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. Okay, I feel like I get some cranberry. I think the tea, the tea cran... The tea and sweetness is what I get. I don't know if I particularly pinpoint like apple, honey. I don't even know if I would pinpoint cranberry unless I read the notes ahead of time. A little bit of spices maybe, but not spicy. I just feel like I'm picking up a little bit of like tea spices. I can't, I mean, I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm going to have to see how this does on warm to the, decide if one bar is enough for me this year or if I want to keep it. We have Tinselberry. Tinselberry says strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. So I was definitely curious about the strawberry note in here, but I'm also curious about the cinnamon. So let's give it a sniff. It is in the fruity category and I do smell strawberry. I think that's really pretty. Ooh, that's really good. I don't even get any cinnamon. Maybe a little cranberry, but I smell strawberry. I really like this one. It doesn't immediately read holiday or fall to me, but I really like it. This may be a contender, contender to stay in my club at least another time. Depending on performance, I really think it smells good on cold. Um, we have apple cherry strudel. This one says, so clearly a lot of apple ones stayed in my club. This one says Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. On first initial sniff, right off the bat, it smells light. Okay, I smell more on the bottom. I smell more cherry. A little apple. I do get cherry, but it's not medicine cherry. I like it. I just feel like it's not that strong on cold. So maybe I'll give this one a little bit of cure time because some of these are probably more freshly poured. I see 2022. I don't see the month or day, but um, I have high hopes for this. I hope this one does good. I just feel like on cold right now, like I said, a little bit light. All right, the next we have is Berry Blessed. And Berry Blessed says soft vanilla and cranberry sprinkled with sparkling sugar is pure bliss. I read on a comment that said berry bliss and love you very much is kind of similar so I'm going to sniff this one first impressions then when I pull out love you very much we can compare them this one smells like maybe slightly more tart than I remember the love you very much like it smells like a little bit more of a tart cranberry I like it though this one does scream um more into the holidays because I feel like cranberry is a little bit more of a winter uh holiday kind of a scent um maybe a good fall to winter fall to holiday transition scent I like it I like berry scents so I might keep 
both this one and Love You Very Much in my club if I like them both equally. We have Bright Cider Life. Spiced Harvest Cider comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. I just felt like I was going to like the apple fruity scents more than the spicy scents. So, and I'm not mad. I've been kind of obsessed with apple scents this year. So, Ooh, okay. I like this one. I like it. I feel like I like all the apple scents I've gotten. This smells like a really pretty apple cider scent. I'm excited about this one. I think my favorite apple scent still is Caramel Apple Craze, but Bright Cider Life is pretty close second. I think that smells really good on cold. I'm liking a lot of these scents so far. This one is Cran Apple Crumble, another new one, at least new to me. It says baked cran apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. Ooh, I like this one too. These are all hits to me. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Definitely more fruity than like bakery, but I like it a lot. The cranberry apple smells kind of candied to me. I think it smells really good and I'm excited to warm it. Let's see, are there any more new ones? How many was that? I feel like that might be all my new fall ones I added. But I have other new ones that I haven't smelled before. So these two are Lilo and Stitch. One is Angel Experiment 624. I add the, added this in my club. Um, then even before my club process, this was already like, this already went away from the catalog. So this one's already like a discontinued scent at this moment. Um, so let's see if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll cut it. This says a unique creation like Disney's Angel calls for a complex concoction. This mischievous, mischievous mix draws you in like a siren song with a blend of goji berry and blackberry reacting just so sweet with vanilla, cream, and sugar cane. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of the Aladdin Three Wishes one. I think because of the berry and stuff, it, like, it's almost giving me kind of a blueberry rat, like a blue raspberry kind of a scent. I like it. I think, I wonder if it's going to smell like this Berry Bright. Right away, it reminded me of Berry Bright. Okay, I like this. It might be a keeper. And then here is Stitch Experiment 626. I'm going to sum up the notes. This is supposed to be Valencia Orange pineapple nectar sugarcane and sea salt mist into the sweetest catalyst so another kind of fruity sweet a little light on the top let's see i like it i can smell the pineapple nectar for sure i smell the pineapple stronger than the orange but it smells a little light i like the angel experiment 624 better than the stitch one off cold sniff we will warm and see which one stays i like them enough though that if i don't get a chance to warm to warm them before my next club processes i wouldn't mind getting another one of both of them they smell more summertime to me though than fall so that's the only reason i'm like not sure if i'll warm them or not we'll see i will i will warm them before my next club processes okay any more new ones any more new ones technically this is new to me the only time i sniffed it was when i got the little sample size in my july club so this is glacier water this was the was it august scent of the month july i think so yes so it says glacier water rushes into a mountain stream peacefully flowing over bright bergamot aquatic lavender and driftwood when i smelled this originally in the sample size i thought it smelled really pretty kind of like a masculine body care body wash kind of a scent i personally thought performance was really great i did one of these like i didn't cut this in half or anything i did this little sample scent shot cup in my husband's bathroom lasted for like three days straight and was leaking out of our ba our bathroom i thought it smelled really great but i've heard hit or miss reviews on performance on this one yeah 
yeah, I think it smells really pretty. It's definitely a scent that I feel like if my husband had this in a body wash, I would love it. I think it smells super pretty and I'm hoping I get the same performance as I did with the sample because it lasted a super long time. And if it performs just as good as the sample did, I'll definitely keep it in my club. Um, there was another scent, yes. Sea salt and avocado. This one went away with the, when the summer collection went away, I think, or the summer catalog. And I just wanted to give it a try because I've heard really good things about it. And I figured add it in my club. If I don't like it, I can remove it. Um, sea salt and avocado, you do you. White, pink, sea salt, Valencia, orange, and creamy avocado. Keep, keep your spirit in flight. Ooh, that is really pretty. It smells like a nice, clean, fresh, bright bathroom or kitchen scent. I think because there's a little bit of that Valencia orange in there. I don't really smell sea salt or avocado. It smells like a nice fruity scent to me. I like it. Depending on performance, I would maybe keep this in my club. Maybe I'd compare it to a few of my other like fruity scents to see if I like it enough to keep it in. But off first sniff impressions, I think it smells really good. Not the strongest, but not light by any means. So we will see. Is there anything else that is new in here? I guess it's been a while since I had Ruby Nectarine. This was a scent of the month. It did go away. So I think it was the scent of the month in like the earlier months of the year. Um, this says, I won't read all of the rest of the notes if they're repeat ones, but this says juicy nectarine and ruby apple blended with pear blossom put a fresh spin on fruity. I remember thinking it's good, but nothing super special on cold. But when I warmed it, it really wowed me, which is why I wanted to add it to my club again. Yeah, I mean, it smells good. Good apple blend. I just remember it performing great and being long lasting and super strong. So excited about this. I think this is a good summer to fall transition. So a good now time fragrance like September because of that apple. Apple reminds me of the fall time, but it's fruity and bright, which reminds me of the summertime too. Okay, I think a lot of these now are scents that I've had before. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through some of these these two are from the Valentine's Day collection. I love them. I'm going to keep them in my club. It's love and you're the one. Super good fragrances. I really enjoy them both. And those two are pretty strong. We have Dumbo Circus Parade. This is a really pretty one. It's kind of like one of those bars that I feel like I would get FOMO if I took it out of my club. I'm going to keep it for now, but eventually, I don't know if I stockpile enough, maybe I would take it out, but I like it for now. Performance wise too, it does pretty good. We have the Chase Rainbows collection. I just talked about these in my empties video, which I don't know if you'll see this video before or my empties, but I just warmed through all four of these in my collection because I mentioned in that video, everything that I keep in my club, I wanna make sure I'm you know, aware of what's in my collection and not piling up too much of the same blends. So things that are in my club that I'm gonna keep in my club. I wanna also go through and warm through. So I went through all of these. We have red, we have yellow, orange, and green. The only one I didn't keep in my club is blue because that one just out of the collection was my least favorite. Out of these four, my favorite is the orange one. Um, Blueberry Cheesecake, a tried and true. I love this. I'm actually warming this one right now in my bedroom warmers and it's going on day two. We have Berry Bright. This one again went away with the summer catalog. So let me smell this compared to the Angel one because I thought, initially I thought of this one when I smelled the Angel one. Okay. They smell really similar to me. Let me know if you have both of them. I feel like these smell similar. Um, we have Hey Tiger Lily. 
I say this, I think, in every Scentsy club I've had, so the past couple ones, this is the one that made me want to start a club because I just loved it so much. And something about it reminds me of my mom, so it's kind of like a nostalgic kind of a scent for me. Um, okay, these two are... Yeah, I think these are the only two I kept from the June Bring Back My Bar. So this one is Flower Child and Love You Very Much. Love You Very Much, we can sniff against very blessed because I've heard these two are kind of similar. Very blessed. And yeah, what I said at the beginning when I smelled this one, this one smells like a tart, more tart berry blend. This one's a little bit more sweet. Um, and Flower Child, if I had to choose between which was my favorite Bring Back My Bar, it would be Flower Child. I really liked this one super pretty it smells like a um to me kind of body care perfumey kind of a scent yeah I think it's really pretty the next one so we are wrapping up my club is fresh ice I did keep this in my club because I didn't get a chance to warm it prior to my club processing I still haven't warmed my first bar to me it kind of screams more a winter scent because it's like a really sharp kind of nose clearing peppermint I think my husband's gonna like this one. I don't have any other mint scents in my club and I don't consistently buy mint scents from Bender Wax. I, there was a time where I was buying a lot of mint but I realized I, I like it but I don't love it. So I don't need to like have a huge collection of it. Oh, this one's super juicy. I don't know if you can tell but um, I feel like my husband's gonna like this one and every now and again, I wanna have a good strong mint Again, I haven't actually warmed it, so I don't know performance-wise if it's super strong, so I, I should probably warm that one of these nights. Maybe I will when my husband says he has a stuffy nose, but I could see keeping it just to have like a consistent mint coming. Um, I do think it smells really nice. Um, so I have that one. We have cucumber and cactus water. I warmed this and loved it. It smells super like perfumey to me. It's very strong. Yeah, it's very strong. It was really long lasting. Reading it, cucumber and cactus water, I would have thought it was a nice like aquatic fresh, but to me it's a strong like perfumey kind of a scent. I really like it. I think it smells really good. And then the last one was the scent that I got in body care. This is Vanilla Waves. Oh, it smells so good. Again, this one went away, I think, with the summer catalog. It just smells so good. And I've heard people say that this is a great mixer. Oh, it smells so decadent, like to the point where it smells like body hair vanilla, but also decadent where like I would want to eat it too. So I don't know. It smells really good though. So I'm glad I put it in my club. So that was a lot of bars, but I only get my club every other month and I'm trying and I'm succeeding pretty well at not making Scentsy orders outside of my club orders. So I feel like, I feel like even though it's a big club, I'm only getting it every other month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.